In today's video, I'd like to address a question that I get a lot, which is how to bring in custom imagery, for example, from Google Earth into InfraWorks, of course, geo-referenced. Hi everyone, I'm here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, if you have the AC suite from Autodesk, you should have Revit, AutoCAD, Symbol 3D, and InfraWorks. In this case, I can show you how to prepare an image for InfraWorks using either AutoCAD or Civil 3D, whichever you're comfortable with. Now, what's interesting is that you can uh, reuse this process and imagery for different applications. For example, AutoCAD sites or uh, background images for your uh, Revit models. Let me show you. Now, when you first open Google Earth, the first thing you want to do is uh, head over to your tools, options, and make sure that instead of degrees, minutes, and seconds, you pick UTM. And that will make this coordinate system compatible with the one that we can read in InfoWorks in this case. Now at this point, we're ready to set up our markers. So I would try to identify two points that we can easily grab and place a marker like so and try to zoom in as much as you can so you can place the pin exactly where you want it and name the marker with these coordinates like so so we can easily read them in autocad or civil 3d and then we accept and then let's go ahead and place another one now at this point i would recommend framing your view for example, this would be my close extent, not the whole context that we see in InfoWorks, a uh, closer one to our site, the one that we want the most resolution. Once you decide the frame, make sure you don't change it because we'll save it twice. Once with the points and the annotations and uh, another time without the annotations so we can have a clean image. Now let's go ahead and uh, save the image. Click on that, save image, and let's customize the view. I think you would want that to be as clean as possible. So at this point, of course, you'd want to pick the maximum resolution and then we're ready to save the image. And then without moving the frame, let's turn off the annotations like so. And then let's do that again. Save image, save image. At this point, we're ready to jump into AutoCAD or Civil 3D. Now, once in AutoCAD, you can go ahead and open a new file and you can uh, drop the site with annotations image in the file and then hit enter at all prompts. And we find that we have this image, but it's not scaled or oriented properly yet. So let's go ahead and do that using these coordinates. Now we're going to use the align command. And what this is going to do is let us select the image, enter, and now we go and pick the first point. See, I wasn't very accurate here, but I just click on the pin. That's the right point. And now we can specify the point as these coordinates. So destination point here will be, and first the X or Easting, and then the Y's or Northing. enter and now it's asking us for the second point so let's go ahead and pick the second point here so let's hit enter and then we want to I'll scale based on the alignments so yes and let's go check our image so this is the new image and it's georeferenced based on these coordinates. Now, at this point, for InfoWorks to understand how this image is georeferenced, we need to save a world file. And to do that, we're going to use a app, app load. And this is essentially a script that will help us generate this file. And I'll put a link in the description. So let's go ahead and use the georef image dot vlx and loaded and then it'll say successfully loaded and what that will do is enable this command called world out 
and that is going to generate this file that we need. Let's go ahead and select the image for the prompt. And that's the new file, G or JGW. And let's go ahead and save it in there. And it's important that you keep the same name as the image so the two files are associated. And then let's go ahead and save. So now we're back in InfoWorks and we're ready to bring in this uh, new file that we georeferenced called Site with Annotations. And then of course you can apply the same uh, concept to the site without the annotations. And at this point, all you need to do is drag and drop your file into InfraWorks and you see that it's being recognized as a raster image. And all we need to do here is specify the coordinate system there and then we can close and refresh. And as you can see, we brought in the image and uh, let's look at the difference. So keep in mind, this is already the highest resolution that you can achieve currently with Bing Maps into InfraWorks. So as you can see, we get that extra sharpness, extra quality, and I think more importantly, you get more information in some of these areas. So let's do a quick recap. You're going to use Google Earth to find your points and save images that show the point coordinate as annotation. In AutoCAD or Civil 3D, you can insert the image and with the align command, you can um, orient and scale the picture. And at that point, you can use the georeference image script that will allow you to use the world out command to generate a world file for your image. Now, of course, let me know if you have any questions on this specific process, but the next step is to reuse these images in different applications like AutoCAD or Revit, and I'll put links in the description. Those will be future videos, so make sure you stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.